approval of the U.S. government. President Richard Nixon told the CIA to, quote, make the economy scream. The agency also worked with three Chilean groups, which planned a coup against Allende. The U.S. constantly worked to undermine the Chilean economy until General Augusto Pinochet replaced Allende in a military coup in 1973. Number 4. Media Takeover The CIA will buy and use newspapers, TV, and radio stations to change public opinion and push anti-government rhetoric. This is what it did in Rome, Italy in the mid-20th century. The CIA bought and owned 40% of the Rome Daily America, initially to keep it from falling into communist control. But a former CIA official later said, quote, it's easier to buy a reporter, which we've done, than to buy a newspaper. And the agency has kept many American and foreign journalists on its payroll. Number five, creating chaos. Causing panic among the people and creating social tensions through street protests is another way the agency has overthrown governments. And making sure the protesters don't know the real motives are also key. The fact that Iran's democratically elected leader Mohammad Mossadegh nationalized an Iranian oil industry previously operated by British companies was not very welcome by the US and the UK. The two countries instigated a coup to overthrow him in 1953 mainly through the efforts of the CIA. To throw Masadeh out, millions of dollars were channeled into Tehran to buy off his supporters and finance street protests. The result? Masadeh ended up living the rest of his life under house arrest. This is what we do know about the secretive organization, but who knows what we don't know.